Well, behind me is Fitzroy, and just out of view at the moment is Guillemet, which we climbed a couple of days ago. Normally, you would do the Amy route, which is on the, uh, I suppose, the east side, and uh, we went uh, and did the uh, Fon Rouge route, which is on the north side, which is 11 pitches of rock climbing. Uh, we couldn't do the Amy route this year because we're here in March, and that's pretty much a five pitch climb of ice and snow, followed by five pitches of rock. Uh, that um, ice and snow is no longer there, so we did the Fond Rouge route, which I loved. It was beautiful. It was, um, 11 pitches, and it was spectacular views uh, through all this area where we are now uh, for the entire day, and I much prefer that route. It's a little bit longer, uh, but it was a great outing and I would thoroughly recommend it and uh, let's just see how it all panned out shall we the incredible peaks behind me now are the Fitzroy range one of which is Guillemet which we are planning to uh, climb in the next few days so I've spent the last couple of days uh, climbing the climbs around town and I'm um, getting brought up to speed by our guide uh, well, if you're like me uh, and you're coming to this amazing place, you probably want to get yourself a guide. Um, just because on our second pitch, he pretty much hauled my ass up and I didn't do anything. And as you can see down there, it's actually a pretty decent climb. I don't know what grade it is actually, but um, it's much harder than anything I've climbed before. And uh, he's just disappeared over the edge, and now we're making our descent after pretty much we uh, combined two pitches into one, so it's a three pitch climb. But why wouldn't you do it if you can? It's just uh, an amazing day. Indio is our guide, and he has proved to be the most amazing guy, very fun person to be around, and we spend the next couple of weeks with him. It was a lovely walk actually, probably about two to three hours along the, uh, the river, very flat and then we had about a kilometre um, of elevation and then we're roughly about 1500 metres. Believe it or not, the summit of Guillemette is another thousand metres above us, so you can get a bit of an idea how, how vast the area is and this campsite is just beautiful, it's stunning and again amazing weather. It's Indio leading up the first rock pitch on Guillamet. So we've just started for the day. It took us, I don't know, an hour and 40 minutes or something to uh, hike up from the camp to the big glacier that you can see off to my right here. Then we uh, roped together, put the crampons on, and Simul climbed up the glacier, which was a new thing for Stu and I, it's a little bit airy at first, it's pretty vertical and I'm not used to doing that on snow, so it's kind of a relief to be back on something solid. <laughs> um, well that's what I'm saying now because I'm just belaying, but we'll see when I start the climb. But yeah, we've uh, got a good day, started off with blue sky, clouds just come in, but uh, it's shaping up to be really good. Oh my gosh, he climbs quick. <laughs> I don't even fucking need my beer. My fucking steak and velvet credits. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Hard work. Might not look like it, but that whole layback thing. Oh. <laughs> it's not easy. How's it going, Jen? <laughs> it's better now that the crux is done. <laughs> this is not easy. I don't know how Indio does it. 
and then hauls us up afterwards. <laughs> He's saying it's easy and it's never easy. <laughs> That's good. Only a pinner. So we've uh, got five pitches more, we've just joined the Amy route, so where the two routes converge, that was the route we were going to do up the snow, um, it's also the route we're going to go down on, that we're going to wrap down, so um, yeah, getting uh, a bit pumped, it's pretty full on climbing, but, um, Indio just whizzes up there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's actually really enjoyable. If you take the little fear factor away and stuff like that, it's superb rock, really good friction. The views are out of this world. I'm blessed with the weather. So, just hope we're progressing quick enough to be able to make it up to the top. Good job, my friends. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank Muchas you. gracias. You did a good job. <laughs> Getting us all up here safely. Thank you. It's now 10 to 4 and the day is incredible. We have no wind, sun. Uh, it's just been the perfect outing. And there's been a few uh, scary pictures there, which has pretty much took me to my absolute limit. And um, a couple of actually really fun pictures too. Uh, but uh, yeah, tell you what, um, Indio was the best guide, he's just a lot of fun and um, he's also showed us a really good time and um, yeah, great experience, really enjoyed it so far. Now we got the down, so um, we're going through the Amy route on the way down, so that'll be interesting to see that because we didn't climb that obviously. I just can't believe how good it is up here. And the most amazing view, the most amazing day. Greatest time ever. Final words, we're plunging off the edge. Uh, it's been a great day. <laughs> Nearly halfway there though, until you're off. Alright, double checked. We're ready to go. Well, it's been a, a pretty amazing day. Um, we're now descending on the Amy route, and quite frankly, it's been an absolute corker of a day. Um, up here by myself, which is pretty nice. So the Amy route, there isn't much snow here at the moment. Normally, um, it's five pitches of ice climbing. Uh, so as you can see, because we've really got no snow up there at all, uh, we had to take the alternative route, and uh, it proved out to be really lovely, actually, because um, it was specky views the whole time too. I think we've got about another three wraps at the moment before we uh, get off and a bit of a long walk back to uh, base camp. 
So I think it's around about 6.30 now, so it should be back by about 8, 8.39. Long day, but uh, definitely worth it. This is Shore uh, Rock. It's not the time. In the money over there. Okay. More down. Down there. Ha, ha, ha.